the Goodwill a couple of weeks ago and bought two pairs of jeans. One was a size 6 and the other ones I'm actually wearing today, um, they're size 4 petites. I just about croaked when I actually could fit into them. I'm in a 4. I can't wear everything a 4. But I am a, I'm in a small, small clothing mainly, um, fours and sixes. So I'm just thrilled with that. I'm not, a, I'm not a large frame woman. I've measured my frame size. I border on the edge of small, um, on the high end of a small frame woman at five foot two and three quarters in my bone size, my structure of my bones. So, um, you know, a size four and a size six sounds really small. Um, I do have a lot of fat. I, I do, I have taken a couple of pictures of me at 135 and 145 pounds on my belly. Um, like before and after or progress pictures. Like if I do get to 115 pounds and I lose my stomach fat, maybe then I'll show that on YouTube. But I'm not showing that right now. Trust me. I've shown one person, Miss HCG girl, has seen the picture of my belly. And she can attest that I have stomach fat. So, you know... To each his own, don't judge a person because they're um, trying to lose more weight. I'm not too skinny. I still have plenty of belly fat. And my husband will be the judge of whether or to tell me if I'm too skinny or too bony. And he knows that I still have some stomach fat left to lose and he has no problem with that. Um, other than that, I'm doing really good, and I just can't believe how fast this time has flown by. I do really well on P3 and P4. Um, I, as long as I stick with high protein, and high protein for me is probably 120 to 150 grams of protein per day. Um, lowering my fat a little bit so I can up the carbs. If you lower your fat a little bit, I have found that I can get in more carbs as long as my protein's high. Your protein really needs to be around um, equal grams to your body weight. So at 131, 134 pounds, I need to be eating around 130, 140 grams of protein a day. And then I keep my fat intake about 0.45 to about 0.45 times your body weight. So for me, that's around 60 grams of fat. So if I maintain my protein 130 to 150 grams and I keep my fat under 60 grams, then it's all good with carbs. And I drink a gallon of water a day. Yes, I drink a gallon of water a day on P3, P4. And I'm maintaining beautifully. I mean, yesterday I went up 2.2 pounds. We were at, um, we were out dirt bike riding on Sunday. I stayed within my calories. I drank a gallon of water, but still somehow my body went shoop and went up two pounds. Um, I think it was a little bit of constipation or bathroom issues. Um, it came back down today. It sh you know it showed um, a big loss of I don't remember 1.6 or something. I don't know, um, but I'm maintaining really good. So I would say once you get comfortable in P3 and you want to experiment a little bit with carbs. Make sure your protein is up. I do a lot of, um, I do protein shakes to get in my protein. It's really hard to eat that much meat and stuff. And I do supplement with protein shakes. Um, lots of 0% Greek yogurt. If I feel like my fat intake's too low, I may add a little bit of cream to my 0% my Greek yogurt to balance out the fat. But I would say... As you're up in your carbs, just lower your fat a little bit. Um, do about 0.45 times your body weight in your grams of fat. Do about one gram of protein times your body weight for your protein. And then the carbs will just fall into place. Um, I do use my fitness pal. I don't go by the um, calorie count in my fitness pal because I've found that's a little too high. Um, I think it told me 15, 1600 calories for um, a sedentary lifestyle, which I do play tennis, but I add the, those calories in separately. 
but for just sedentary lifestyle at 134 pounds at 5'2", it was telling me 1,600 calories for my age, 39 years old. Um, I found that I gained on that. Um, so I started lowering my calories until I found a good balance. And what I ended up with is around 1,475 calories for five foot two and three quarters, 39 years old. Um, um, 134-ish pounds, and it's helping me maintain my weight right there as long as I do what I said with the protein and the fat, and then my carbs, I'm not worried too much. Um, I don't typically go nuts over the carbs, but as long as my I keep my protein up and my water intake up and my fat kind of down, I'm starting to eat normal stuff. I've eaten lasagna and I portion control it and I do what the package says. Like if I eat a Stouffer's lasagna, I measure out the serving sizes and that is my portion size. And then I may add more protein on top of that. Um, I've done a Mexican lasagna. I've done roast and mashed potatoes, homemade mashed potatoes with butter and cream, not milk. Um, and the way I've done that is I portion control my potatoes in a half a cup, and I've actually measured half a cup of homemade mashed potatoes with butter and cream. Um, and um, then I'll do green beans for my vegetables. My body doesn't do well on vegetables other than like green beans. Um, salads. I'm, I must have some kind of intestinal issue. I've talked about that on a previous vlog. Um, so I really have to watch what vegetables I eat. I don't do fruits other than blueberries um, and some strawberries. That's just me. Um, I like to keep my fruits kind of low glycemic fruits, which would be berries. My daughter... Um, She's been doing some mandarin oranges, um, the sugar-free ones that Del Monte makes um, on her P3, and she's doing just fine on that. Everybody's body's a little different, what they can handle in fruits and vegetables. But I have to be careful with the vegetables. So um, vegetables bloat me up. I can't handle that much. I can handle, the, the best vegetable I can handle is green beans. And um, I, I can't tolerate broccoli very well. I can't tolerate um, too much lettuce in big quantities. Um, but that's what I'm doing. I'm eating lots of protein. If I can't get the protein in, I don't do lots of meat. I mean, I'll do meat for like dinner and stuff. But I don't just like do gobs of meat. I love meat, but it's hard to get in that much protein. I'll do eggs and bacon occasionally. I don't do it every day anymore. I just get burnt out. I do lots of yogurt. I just like the Greek yogurt. Um, and I do supplement with protein shakes. And sometimes I'll take my scoop of protein and mix it into my Greek yogurt. And um, But those are the things I do to get my protein in. And um, I just keep it 120 to 150 grams for me at 131 to 134 pounds. That's where I'm fluctuating at. And I do beautifully. And then keeping my fat at 0.45 times my body weight. That's what I would recommend. One gram of protein times your body weight is the average or a little bit more. And 0.45... Um, of a gram times your body weight in fat, say under that number, when you start adding the carbs back. I mean, you can do a little bit more fat when you don't have much carbs, but when you start adding the carbs, I think you have to kind of shift your ratios a little bit. And that's what I have found, and it works beautifully for me. So I'm just sharing with you guys some tips that work well for me. So I think that's about it. Um, sorry if this vlog is long. It's probably going to take forever to upload, but I just um, wanted to get an update in. My last vlog was a little depressing, and I appreciate all of you guys and your comments were wonderful. Um, I'm doing very well. I don't let discouragement get the best of me because you guys are awesome. I have not watched TV or YouTube videos in two weeks. All I can say is God is doing a lot of stuff in my family and a lot of stuff in me right now and working on me. And... Um, helping me to become a better person and um, I I love the support that you guys have given me and just know that I'm thinking about all of you even though I haven't watched your videos in a couple of weeks 
Um, I'll try to get better at that. I'm just doing like, we're doing this major reorganization of our household and everything right now.